This is part of a problem solving series in investments. Today we will be going over problem 14 in chapter 2 from the 10th edition of our textbook. Here's a view of this problem. We would like to find equivalent taxable yield of a short term municipal bond and please recall that municipal bonds are tax free, federal income tax free, federal income tax free and the, that um, municipal bond currently offers 4% rate of return on an investor, on a potential investor. Now the question is, uh, we know the municipal bond is uh, is free from federal income tax. Making this municipal bond comparable to an other financial security which is taxable, what would be the, um, if you will, the comparable level for the municipal bond and that other security? Well, one way we can do it is that because we want to find an equivalent taxable yield at another security which is taxable and the yield on that security what what I really mean is that the rate of return on that security let's call it I after tax will give its investor this much return and we want this to equal the return on the municipal bond so one thing you can do is you can isolate the R sub i here it would basically yield r sub m divided by 1 minus t here now we can go ahead and solve the problem for the four cases given in the first case the tax bracket is equal to zero in this occasion r i a an a taxable uh, an equivalent um, taxable yield um, or basically if you will a security which will uh, um, give you an equal return after tax has a return uh, has a return of the four percent of the municipal bond divided by one minus zero, but that's simply four percent. So in the second part here, we have that the tax bracket is ten percent. In that case, R sub i is simply equal to four percent. Divide by 1 minus 10%. Let's just write it as a decimal here. So therefore the answer would be just 4% divided by 0.90. And it comes out as 4.44%. Part C. The tax bracket now is 20% instead of 10%. And the return on a taxable security should be at least 4% minus 1%. 0.20, 1 minus 0.20, I should say, 4% divided by 0.80, and the outcome is 5% uh, even. And finally, in part D, if you know that the tax bracket of an investor is 30%, the investment he should get from a taxable security, the, the rate of return that investor should get on a taxable security must be 4% divided by 0.70 and the result is 5.71%. So that actually solves our problem. We were able to find equivalent taxable yield for our municipal bond for different tax brackets. Hope to see you in our next video.